<laughs> there we go. So I want to welcome you all to Faith Building Scripture Reveal Bible Study. Today we'll be talking through the scriptures, listening to God's revelation knowledge in the form of commands, principles, patterns, and promises. And we do this to agree with Jesus and defeat the spirit of doubt, discouragement, diversion, delay, and defeat brought to us from the world system, our sinful nature, and Satan. Today we are on part two, Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. And this is John chapter 14, verse 15 to 31. And I am I can tell you right now, I'm going to be taking time in this because this is the backbone Jesus provided. Now he sent him his spirit to, of strength and comfort. And this is where we get it from. So I, I want to go through the promise of the Holy Spirit. I want to go through the Holy Spirit and a lot and what he brings to us. Okay. So we're starting at verse 17. Even uh, King James Version first, and then the New Living Translation, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you, the New Living Translation. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. And that truth is the truth of God. That truth is God's truth. You know, you look at the election today and you got a lot of people speaking truth. The only problem is that it's, it's either Donald Trump's truth, the Republican's truth, or a Democratic truth. And I'm kind of overdoing it here, but I think you get the point. Yes. That is truth depending upon whoever is saying it. But thank God there is God's truth that truth, overrides man. everything. Mm -hmm. So in a world where we don't know who to believe, we know we can believe God because yes, he man. is truth. Yes. There is no lie in him. Mm -hmm. If you examine what these people are saying, you will find that there's something in the background. But and it's it, and it's not the truth. It's their own made up uh, thoughts or what their perception or what they want to exist. But when it comes to God, He is truth, yes. and He leads into all truth. Now the question is: Are you willing to accept His truth? Are you willing to believe His truth? Are you willing to allow his truth to make the changes in your life style mm -hmm. as we are connected to God? The world cannot receive him. Let, let us talk about that for a minute. The world, those, now what is the world? The world system, the people in the world, those who have not asked Jesus Christ to forgive them of their sins. They cannot receive this. And the prerequisite, you know how when you used to be in school or on your jobs and you were up, uh, you, you had to go to training, you had to make sure you had training A before you got to training B. And if you tried to go right to training B, you were stopped because you didn't have all of the prerequisites. Okay? The prerequisite of receiving the Holy Spirit is a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no getting around it. And if you do not have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, but you say, claim, or feel some kind of spirit uh, interaction, be careful of what kind of spirit it is. Because the devil has spirit, is a spirit also. And, you know, he has spirits down here, deceptive spirits, deceiving spirits. Okay. So let me continue with verse 17. Because it isn't looking, because this is the world now, because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him. 
But Jesus is letting his disciples know, you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you. Okay. Now let me put in some, some context on what's going on here. Jesus is sitting down with his disciples. I can't say sitting. Jesus is meeting with his disciples and he's giving them a crash course on what's going to happen. Jesus know that he is the cross is quickly coming and he will be with them no more. But Jesus in his compassion, Jesus in his love, Jesus in his wanting to be that in his be Jesus being connected to them and wanting them to be prepared, even though he knew they could not fully grasp, is still telling them what they need to know. And in return, as we are in this Bible study, as we are reading the scriptures, as we are studying the scriptures, as we are learning from the scriptures, Jesus did that. that Jesus has given us that same instruction and the Holy Spirit is here preparing us for whatever tomorrow will bring. Mm -hmm. Okay? A couple of things. The world at large cannot receive the Spirit because of its sin and disobedience. One of the things that comes to mind as a person who believes in God and has accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior and is now connected to him with relationship, you got to stop thinking that those in the world will think as you Christians do. They don't. They cannot. Okay? So, they cannot because they do not have Christ living within them. They don't have a relationship. So that means they're going to act different. That means there is a candidate that will totally act different than a Christian candidate would act like or behave. Okay? I'm trying hard to, to, to I know you know this, okay? But to relate to the fact that there are two people alive on this earth. There are those who are not looking for God, there are those in connection with God. There are those who cannot receive the Spirit of God. There are those who can receive the Spirit of God. Amen. Okay? And the reason why they cannot is because of their sin and disobedience. Yeah. Now, let me define that. Because they were born <laughs> sinners. They were born with that sin nature and because of their holding on and living in that sin nature, they are not reaching out to the offer of Jesus Christ for salvation. Okay? But if that were the case, no one could accept the Spirit for all of us are in, or for all of us sin and are disobedient. Okay? Mm -hmm. But the world cannot receive his Spirit of truth because the world isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him. Okay. I want to go back, but if that were the case, meaning the first sentence, the world can't receive because of their sin and disobedience, actually none of us could accept the Spirit, for all of us have sinned and yeah. are disobedient to God. Yeah. Every one of us. Okay. But the last statement, in the same way that Jesus was not accepted by the world, the spirit would also not be received. So mm -hmm. he's talking about, listen, we have to understand that there are people out. Everybody is not like us Christians. Everybody has not received the spirit of God. Everybody has not asked Jesus to forgive them of their sin, even though they may sound like it. Even though they may talk like it. Okay. So I, I want to make sure that's clear because Jesus is making it clear. Okay. And I'll get back to the Okay. So the other statement, but the disciples and all believers, you and I, 
can receive the spirit and we know we can receive it because the spirit we we are living in the time that as jesus was saying the spirit lives within us mm -hmm. the minute you ask jesus christ to forgive you of your sin the minute you invite him in the minute you confess your sin the minute you repent of that sin the minute you say lord here am i Come into my heart. The Holy Spirit comes and lives within you. Uh -huh. Got to understand that. That you have the Holy Spirit living within you. Now, I know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to dedicated people who have a relationship with Jesus and know this. But I got news for you. In, in preparing this lesson, it opened up my eyes for what I was ignorant about. Mm -hmm. And that is all that the Holy Spirit does for me. Okay. And we'll get into that in a little bit. So the disciple, the disciple, sinful man, not clear in their understanding at this point, even somewhat greedy in their quest for positions in God's kingdom. Remember the two sons of thunder, but what they wanted to be, you know, up there in a high position would be able to know the spirit for the spirit would come to live in them, helping them understand. This is what the spirit does, helping us to understand and empowering them to do great works for God. So thank God. Yes, we're, we're sinners, we're disobedient. But when we ask Jesus Christ, it makes all the difference in the world. And now his spirit comes within us. And now he helps us to understand what before we could not understand. And he empowers us to do what before we could not do. Mm -hmm. How many of you know in our sinful nature, in our, in our self-being, we cannot do what God requires. It mm -hmm. takes the power of the Holy Ghost. And if you try and if you're striving to do it within yourself, yeah. I've been there, I've done that. First off, it's tiring. Yeah, it Second of all, it gets to be depressing. Yeah. And third of all, it could actually it, you because of all that's going on within you, it could actually maybe stray get you to stray from God for a lot of different reasons. Okay. Learn, accept the power of the Holy Spirit living within you and learn how to operate. Learn how to, I, I want to say, I, I'm going to use the word use, but I really don't mean the word use. So learn how to use the Holy Spirit that lives within. Mm. Uh, we're going to go through a little bit in depth in this teaching of exactly what the Holy Spirit does for us in a little while. Okay, so. The world has refused to know Jesus, but any sincere seeker, no matter how sinful or how ignorant, who humbly comes to Jesus can receive this gift of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Now that right there tells us the, there are people who refuse to know Jesus, who want to have nothing to do with him. But there are also people who sincerely seek him. And one thing I can honestly say, if you sincerely seek him, mm -hmm. you will find him. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And your sinful state will not stop God from coming down to you, no matter mm -hmm. how sinful you are, no matter how ignorant you are, you sincerely seek. You want to know why? Because this is not about your knowledge. This is not about you. This is about you coming to God, sit, sincerely seeking him, earnestly seeking him, honestly seeking him. And your sinful state, when you do that, will not stop you from getting into God. 
mm-hmm. on like those in the world who are not locked or not looking for God. And because they're not looking for God, their sin is a block and they will not get into God, find God, be with God. But the whole key is a decision of your will to sincerely seek God. Mm -hmm. And to come to him humbly. Mm -hmm. And those are the prerequisites Morning, of just receiving sorry. this gift of much. the Spirit. All is well with you and Glenn and your family. I have Anna Pudding to be I here hear some talk in the background. Uh, thank you. About 12.30. So, uh, just give me a minute. Me. Come on. That's okay. just a tummy. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. That's Harold McKinney. You can hear the conversation. And I just <laughs> muted them. Technology is mm. wonderful. Tammy and Harold, stay on even though I mar- uh, muted you. So do, I, I want to paint the, a clear picture because there are people who are holding on to all of the values of this world and saying they are actually of God. But you can tell by their lifestyle mm. that they're, they're prideful. Mm. Okay. That they, they do not. Uh, they're not, um, I, I can't say connecting, but they, they're still disconnected to God. And let us, be, let, I'm going to say this, there are deceptive spirits out there mm-hmm. that are tricking people up. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you are holding on to all that is in the world and not looking for Jesus, but saying you're spiritual and connected to Jesus, there's something wrong with you. Mm-hmm. Amen. Because this scripture says it clearly that the world refuses Jesus. Mm -hmm. But this scripture also says if you happen to be in that state, but make a decision of your will to sincerely seek Jesus and to humble yourself and come to him, then you can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions or comments on that so far? Question. Go ahead. So um, I don't I don't have any person, but I've heard, you know, through you know YouTube or different channels. Wonderful, of, love that YouTube. Bring it on. Of, of pastors who say there's no heaven or hell, there's mm-hmm. no, and so you know I think I've asked a question before of someone who doesn't know Christ and and following these. Uh, leaders who said they are pastors and Christians, but they said there's no heaven or hell. You know, um, those following them and that pastor, they're eventually they're eventually doomed then because if you're a leader who, and you're telling people those things don't exist, it's a fairy tale. Yeah. Nothing goes like that, even though they know the truth. But their belief now or their stance is that nah, that it doesn't exist. You don't have anything to worry about. Mm-hmm. Once you want to accept, you know, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. There's no judgment. There's no nothing. Well, I mean, the question is, you know, <clears throat> those people that I said they're they're doomed. Uh, you know, they're damned. You know, yes, what definitely. lies for them, man? What is in store for them? <laughs> Not their fault. <laughs> All right. Here's the thing. Let's deal with YouTube. Okay. I'm not yes. gonna deal with specifics, though. I'm not gonna name names. I'm no, no names, gonna, no names, no right. names. Just a, I'm not going to do that. General. But yeah. We just, all uh, right, let me deal with it this way. We just talked about, Jesus was just talking about the spirit of truth. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just spoke about in the election that's here that you have people bringing forth their truth. Yeah. On what fits them in any <laughs> given situation. <laughs> and that is their truth. But mm-hmm. if you examine it, <clears throat> there could be a lie or two in there. Or their truth is not my truth. I'm coming up with my own truth. Don't the Democrats, the, the one thing you learn from looking at all of this uh, political environment that we're in 
is that everybody puts a spin on truth to fit mm -hmm. them. Okay? And the internet is full with that. YouTube is full of that. Okay? Now, you have to make up in your mind, yeah. first off, that that exists. And then you got to decide what you are going to listen to or take part in and mm -hmm. or follow. Yes. But please understand that what is on YouTube is people's opinions, mm. is people's truth, is people at the very least, because I don't know if you're aware of this, but people on YouTube get paid by, uh, a certain amount mm -hmm. by the people that they attract. And therefore, yeah. because of the attraction of getting paid, you may mm -hmm. have uh, clickbait on YouTube and they come up with the, the hottest topics, uh, yeah. the hottest uh, wording to get you to click on it and take part in it, to view it. And then by the time, and I, I'm, I'm a victim of this one. Oh, I, I, I'm interested in that person or I'm interested to see what's going on in that particular area. And before I, and I click on it, they ain't told me a doggone thing except mm. their own personal view. <laughs> and that's what it is all about. Now, Jesus, and here's the thing. We got to be careful. Here, here, let me say it this way. Okay? And hopefully nobody else will be speaking because what I'm about to say is critical. There are a lot of people out there saying they're preaching the word of God. True. That's right. There are a lot of, and YouTube and the internet make it very convenient for their supposed Christian message to get out. Mm -hmm. That is why we have to use the Holy Spirit yes. to reveal to us what is God's truth and Amen. what is mm -hmm. Amen. Okay? And that is one of the things that mm -hmm. makes this teaching of the Holy Spirit critical in the world that we're living in because, listen, I'm not going to speak for you. I'm going to speak for me. I know Satan is striving hard to get me to fall into a deception. Mm -hmm. And if he gets me to fall, then maybe he can get Jason to fall. Maybe mm -hmm. he can get Corey to fall. Maybe mm -hmm. he can. And I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to men who I've, uh, who I am close to, mm -hmm. and we have that relationship. And I, and I, and and. God puts people's in people's lives to help them. But if I fall, I am no longer a help to anybody. If I stop following the way of Jesus Christ, then I am not useful to anyone else. Because now I have fallen into the path of deception that Satan wants me to go on. I am no longer following the truth. Okay, I, I want to make that plain. Mm -hmm. We have truth mm -hmm. and we have Satan's lies. Mm -hmm. Last I heard from scripture, Satan cannot tell the truth. Never. Never. Last I heard from scripture, yeah. God can only tell the truth. Mm -hmm. You got to decide which one you're going to listen to. Right. And we mm -hmm. have the gift of the Holy Spirit living within us to help us in that in that making that decision. Now, you can override the Holy Spirit and make a choice still to go down what he is telling you not to do. Okay? So, um what does the Holy Spirit do? Now, when you see these these screens that are totally different from the flow of all of the scripture, that means these are add-ons. And one of the add-ons I wanted to bring, what does the Holy Spirit do for believers? And the first thing, well, I can't say first, one of the, it, this is critical. The Holy Spirit dwells inside every true Christian. Amen. 
God's spirit, the mm. Holy Spirit, mm. dwells in Minister Pike. Mm. Dwell, and he doesn't just dwell in a household, mm -mm. but he dwells in the individuals mm. in that household, mm. meaning he dwells in Minister Pike just mm. as well as he dwells in his wife, Sister Pike, <laughs> Deaconess Pike. Mm. He Amen. dwells with Minister Panky. He mm. dwells with Sister Panky inside. Mm. Yes. Every one of us has the indwelling Holy Spirit. And I'm going to say true Christian. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I would define a true Christian. Those who have confessed their sins. Mm. Amen. Confess what sin? Confess mm. that you have tried to live separate from God. Mm. Confess that they are, are living a prideful life. Confessing they are living uh, a sexually impure life. Mm -hmm. Con confessing that um, they don't want to have nothing to do with Jesus and let him come live within, but yet they're saying all of the churchy sayings. And come on, you know we got churchy sayings. And showing up for church services and showing up for other things, but yet they're still denying the power of oh, Jesus, God. the relationship mm -hmm. with Jesus. Yes. Minister okay. Packy. Go ahead, sir. And when the Holy Spirit indwells the life of believers, he is there, he is there in our lives permanent. Yes, mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. Not for a day or two days or two years mm -mm. or five years or ten years. He is within us permanent. Mm -hmm. For the word of God declares again that we are the temple of God. Yes. yes. Amen. And he who destroys the temple of God, him will God destroy. Yes. Yeah. yes. In other words, it's like no way out. But no. once he comes in and abides with you and lives in you, you are accountable yes. for all the days of your life because you not no belong to yourself. <laughs> you belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And so I mean, it's not, it, it, it is it's not even simple, no. or there's no simplicity about it. No. Once you come to know Jesus as Savior. That is the first step. Yes. And his spirit indwells you. Yes. He is permanent. N not that you make a mistake. Mm -hmm. And it is said that the spirit, your man should to be filled with the spirit and what could have happened to you, you make that mistake. God, God's hand remain upon you and he will not let go of you. Not at all. No. No. Uh, and Minister Pai, I like when you say accountable. God yes. holds us accountable. Mm -hmm. and, and that's mm -hmm. why the true Christian, the true Christian is accountable to God. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. The true Christian acknowledges his accountability. And because he acknowledges accountability, he all, he's quick to confess sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's quick to repent of that sin. Amen. Yes. He's quick to lift up God and praise him. And mm -hmm. God will accept his praise because mm -hmm. he came in the prerequisite of confessing sin and yes. repenting of that sin. Yes. yes, That's what makes a true Christian. If you find somebody who doesn't want to confess sin and doesn't want to repent of that sin, mm -hmm. uh, be careful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be careful, yes. Okay. And listen, we all can do that. Yes, sir. At yes, any sir. given point, I can make a choice. I am not going to confess this sin. I am not going to repent of it. I am not going to listen to the spirit talking to me. Mm -mm. The spirit does talk to us. Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes. The, the spirit has a way of getting our attention and says, no, you shouldn't do that. Or yes, you should do that. Yes. Okay, but that is the, what I'm talking. I, I want to make sure I'm clear. True Christian confession, repentance, mm -hmm. praising God. 
a false Christian, no confession, no repentance, mm -hmm. but still wants to get in with God somehow, some way. Mm -hmm. It's a lie from the pit of hell. Mm -hmm. And the thing about that, Satan will will string you along. Oh, I yes. know I've been there. Mm -hmm. Will string you along. And thank God for the overcoming power of God's spirit that one day stretched out and brought me and brought me into his truth and took me out of that deceptive state. Mm -hmm. Be that person. Okay. The body of faith. The body. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I just had to do something. Ah, uh, excuse me. Okay. The body of faithful Christians. Mm -hmm. The body, your body, of faithful Christians becomes His temple, like Minister yes. Bush just said. Yeah. His temple. I don't know about you, but when I think of a temple, I think about it like in olden times when you came into the king and there was this 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 outstanding building <laughs> and, 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 he, and he dwelled within it. You know, God comes and makes us an outstanding. He takes a sinful building that's worth yeah. nothing and turns it into an outstanding building that's yeah. worth more than gold. Yeah. And that's your and I body. Uh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Minister Panky. Go ahead, ma'am. Um, the word of God says our bodies are the temple of the living God. Yes. And that is where the Holy Spirit dwells. Yes. And if we know the Holy Spirit dwells in our bodies, we cannot do whatever we like with our bodies because it belongs to God. Correct. Yes. Okay. Now, you know I got to blow that up, right? <laughs> you know that. Because... Yeah. Yes, we should. We have Jesus Christ living within us. Mm -hmm. And forgive me, but I'm going to take this to an extreme, but a very real extreme. Mm -hmm. Because we human beings, mm -hmm. and I don't mean to offend anybody, so please do not take it that way. And I don't mean to yes. ignite nothing within anybody, but I want the truth to get out there. Mm -hmm. And there's a particular area of our humanness, mm -hmm. especially some of us men and some of you ladies also, about this sex act, okay? Mm -hmm. And we are human beings and sometimes we give in to the sex act even though we're not married. Mm -hmm. Now, you could be a Christian and listen, it's been proven in time and history that just because you're a Christian doesn't mean that you're not susceptible <laughs> to have sex outside of marriage, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But what you're doing is you're taking the Lord Jesus Christ, his spirit that lives mm -hmm. within you, mm -hmm. and hooking it up in a, in a sexual manner mm -hmm. and performing the sex act in a non-godly manner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I'm striving to get here at in this, in this illustration is that it, we have to choose yeah. every day, mm -hmm. almost every hour, yes. or in every situation that we are going to allow the Holy Spirit to rule and yeah. that, that sinful nature that is within us to rule. Mm -hmm. Because we can override the Spirit. I've done it. Mm -hmm. I've paid for it, and I've done mm -hmm. it. And what I mean I paid, it wasn't good because I could have lived a whole much better situation, experience, life. But I thought I knew better. Mm -hmm. I thought I, I, I dismissed it as just a feeling. You know, mm -hmm. we... Thank you. Here's one thing we got to get to know is how the Holy Spirit deals with us. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We got to get to know that it is not our mind just telling us something, but it is the Spirit of God and that Spirit is to be obeyed. Yeah. Now, the spirit will use our mind. The spirit will use our emotions. The spirit will use our feelings. The spirit will use a lot of things, but we got to get to know that the bottom line, this is from the spirit that lives within us, God's Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. How you, you got it. 
can you make this your prayer? And I'm going to make this mine. Mm -hmm. God, show me how your spirit deals with me. Mm -hmm. wow. Show me, Lord, how your spirit deals with me. Mm -hmm. That I will listen more attentively and be more obedient. Yes. Because if we don't get to know that, we can just clap. Plenty of times have I just uh, nonchalantly put it off as, oh, that's just me. But it's just not me. It could be me. But really, ask God, what is this? What is the meaning of this? What is going on? Okay. So what we're covering now, what does, what does the Holy Spirit do? The Holy Spirit dwells within every Christian. That's yes, what he does. Yes. Mm -hmm. And not only does the Holy Spirit dwell within every Christian, is that the Holy Spirit makes the Christian body the temple. Temple. Yes. Sir. yes. We're good on that so far? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Minister Panky. Go ahead. I think to um, we always say God forgives and God does forgive. But I think there's a misconception there. Like if you continue to do the same thing that's wrong mm. at some point, you have to pay the price. And mm. I think that's where the communication falls, that they don't believe it because they're still doing it. And God is still forgiving you. But there's a price to pay Amen. when you make a mistake. Your error sooner or later, you're going to pay for that error. You really will. Mm -hmm. And they say, oh, God, forgive. God does forgive. Yeah. But I think people don't understand that God forgive you, but he's not going to continue to let you do the same thing over and over without a price to pay. Amen. And let us talk about that. Yes. Because. I have a question when you finish, sir. When you finish. Very, very good. So let us talk about that. You, those of you who cook. Okay, mm -hmm. you may have a tendency to be able to deal with your hands in higher heat than somebody who doesn't cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you get used to it. You can touch yeah. a hot pot where I cannot touch a hot pot, and mm -hmm. and you just can move it with with ease. And I'll come, and I'm up there blowing my fingers because the pot is so hot and the effect that it has on me. Mm hmm. I'm saying yep. that to say that our conscience that God mm -hmm. has within every one of us mm -hmm. to help lead us into righteousness yeah. can get to the point where it is so insensitive to God, the Holy Spirit, yeah. your conscience that you just keep on going and 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 I'm going to I'm going to be very clear on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You just keep on not obeying God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just keep on living the life you want to live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just keep on making yourself right and God wrong. Mm -hmm. You just keep on living independent. No, living depending on you mm -hmm. rather than depending on God. Yeah. And after a while, you are no longer sensitive. You actually have placed yourself in a position of being insensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. and you yeah, are setting yourself up for. Uh, if you if, listen, at any given time, you can reach out and say, "Confession." God is calling already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can reach out to God as He calls. Mm -hmm. And you can mm -hmm. say, and you can confess your sin, and you can repent of that sin. Mm -hmm. But where the issue comes in, you don't have even the mind to confess and repent. Mm -hmm. Because and you know what? Go ahead. Sometimes you become so immune to what you're that's, doing that's until it have no course. effect on you. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like medication. If you take medication over a long period of time, it no longer works. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I mm. think we become immune to the situation until it doesn't phase us that right. we are wrong. Right. And there's a lot of situations out there that people are accept. I'm not going to go into them. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of situations out there that people are accepting 
and it's written in the word of God that it's not right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sexual yeah. behavior. If you're not married, it's not it's it's it, it, it's uh it's not right. Okay? Because your body no longer is pure. That's right. God has no. a certain way for us we, to do yeah. certain things. Doing drugs. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm connected to God, but I can't wait to go do that line of cocaine. That's what mm -hmm. I've been told. That's what I've seen on TV. Okay? Mm -hmm. Making it clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I can't wait to, to go, and even though it's legal, I can't wait to go and, and pass the joint around or the marijuana or whatever it is or, or to do heroin or cocaine. Okay, that same feeling that you get from doing that drug, if you only obey God's way, you will have that same peace and that same feeling, but it will not destroy your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That drink of alcohol, whatever is your medication to help you get through this world, to help you deal with the different situations that come your way, the hardships, the trials, even the good the bad, the ugly, and yet you lean on alcohol or drugs or women or sex or men or your money or your position, you can get that same feeling, that same euphoria, that same uh, 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 of, of, is a word I'm thinking of, I can't say it, that, that same um, high in the Lord Jesus Christ. But you got to do it his way. You can't do yeah. it your way. Right. Your and desire. You do it, right. You got to deny yourself, not please mm -hmm. yourself. And here's the problem. Yeah. Those things are pleasing. Yeah. I find pleasure in those things. Mm. I find pleasure in sexual perversion. I find pleasure in drugs. I don't mean me. I'm just saying people. Yeah, we know. Thank you. <laughs> want to make sure it's clear. <laughs> oh, it's clear. Make the correction. Clear it up. Clear it up. But, but, but one thing I really want to say, I really want to bring these pushing. issues out and not just oh, do the typical Bible study without showing how it applies to our life today, especially yeah. in the world of the internet, YouTube, and all that is being put right in our own private house. Yeah, we need to know all truth, yes, regardless. All truth, regardless. How bad it may be, we need to know. Yes. How can we prepare our children for tomorrow if we're so stuck in, mm -hmm. in ourselves? Yeah. I was going to say so stuck in Jesus. Mm -hmm. But, you know, let me say that. Sometimes we're so stuck in Jesus, we can't relate to this world. Yeah. Now, we're not conforming and we're not accepting, but there are things I need to know so that I can teach my grandchildren and yes. make sure they're all prepared. Yeah, the time has changed. Time has changed. I, I heard it said, it's, I heard it said so wisely. I think it was A.R. Bernard who said it, I think. Or, or all right, I, I take that back, the name. But the person said it so wisely. We The gospel of Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, yes. and tomorrow. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Now, how we get to relate it in a world where the internet, in a world of YouTube, in a world of today, mm -hmm. we got to use what is the truth and the consistency and learn how it relates today mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and get it to be applied and how how does it relate in the in the in the world of youtube yeah how, how does the truth of god relate when everybody and and their relatives are putting the man's truth out there which it doesn't mean anything mm -hmm. how how mm -hmm. how do we relate that how do we get that message out that there are certain people who are just tr striving to get clicks so that they can get money, so that they can be have money and, and make a good living on YouTube when, when they're really uh, um, helping Satan's kingdom uh, bring forth the falseness. Yeah. 
How do we do that? Mm-hmm. And how we do that is by getting them to understand, well, I can't say, is by presenting the truth of scripture mm-hmm. and letting God in the individual start working on an individual basis and the spirit of truth showing individuals on an individual basis the truth of God. Not the collective, mm-hmm. but the spirit working mm-hmm. within each individual. You know, um, Mr. Mr. Panky, I just want to... And then just Jason, you next. Go ahead, Corey. Right. Uh, Jason wants to go ahead. Um, no, no, you have Corey's first, Jason's next. Go ahead. No, no, a lot, a lot of of what we're discussing here is is what I, I was I was taught is is you know grieving, grieving the Holy Spirit and <laughs> and and quenching and quenching the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, both, both, both those two things are are two are two separate things. Um, grieving, grieving the Holy Spirit is is you doing things that you know that he doesn't want you to do Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and quenching the holy spirit is not doing the things that he wants you to do do. Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. there's a there's a very defined and clear um difference there Mm -hmm. you know and and i like how minister panky you always you keep it real by you know by if we if we want to watch if you want to watch pornography um, those that those things that's grieving the Holy Spirit Amen. because you're doing Amen. something Amen. over and over and over again that 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 is just it's dimming it's dimming um the the, the significance and the importance that he has in your life and so it becomes mm-hmm. even more difficult to hear him when mm-hmm. when he's when he's speaking mm-hmm. and then if he decides to speak to you now you 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 hear it. By, by if he's speaking to you and saying, okay, go to Minister Pike and, and give Minister Pike a, a, a hug today, right? You don't understand why you should give him a hug, but go give him a hug today. And you said, you know what? Um, he didn't say hi to me last week, so I'm not going. Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's real world. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 So you finish it. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, that's 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 just what I wanted to just to kind yeah. of talk about as we as we think about the, the framework of of how you know the the, the Holy Spirit works. It works exactly, mm-hmm. and we have we we have the Spirit of Christ living within, mm-hmm. and He's going to sit there and watch pornography. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. And, and the feelings that come with it. I'm trying Amen. to keep it clean, but I'm mm-hmm. also trying to bring out the reality of it. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Now, now we know we're doing this to fulfill some fantasaic, lustful, sexual desire, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and it's pleasurable. Mm-hmm. But, but we also got to know the Holy Spirit is being grieved because mm-hmm. I'm doing something that is not pleasing to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excuse me, Minister Panky. Go ahead. You can hear me. Yes, I can. Go ahead, Tammy. Loud My there. apologies for not being muted before. I thought we I were. I take care of it. Don't worry. Go ahead. Okay. In matters of like P, if someone has PTSD and they have medical marijuana to yes. ease whatever their condition is, wh- what do we say about that? It's medicine. I would say, uh, are you finished first of all? Mm-hmm. Do yes, sure sir. You... Okay. I so, am. I would say this. Okay. God has given us certain herbs and medicine when we have different conditions. Mm -hmm. Because of that condition, listen, I have a, I used to have a condition of headaches. Okay. I Mm -hmm. used to take uh, codeine with something else, which I was told, you know, they take cocaine, they narrow it down and it's codeine. Right. Mm -hmm. They, they, my son, he broke his leg. Okay. He was in great pain. They gave him that oxycodone. Codone. Okay. That is a powerful mm-hmm. painkiller because mm-hmm. there is a condition there that yeah. it helps. Mm-hmm. So in answer to Tammy, and Tammy, thank you, because that is a question that needs to be brought up. 
because I made a statement about using drugs, okay? But now we need, because somebody will hear this and say, oh, they're, they're against all drugs. No. Mm -hmm. There are drugs that are out there that we humans have a condition and we need to use that to help us get through or get over or to assist in our healing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And personally, mm -hmm. I would say with medical marijuana, I, in the knowledge that I have at this given time, just in case it grows into something or a revelation from God, with what I have at this given time, it's a medicine, therefore a purpose, and therefore we, we Christians, I take drugs. I'm telling you now, I take drugs. I take drugs to help my headaches. Mm. I take drugs to keep me from getting sick. I take drugs for for pain in my body at times. I take drugs, but I, but I take <laughs> prescription legal drugs. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Want to make sure it's clear. Prescription yeah. legal drugs for something going on within me, not just so that I can receive pleasure. Mm -hmm. right. Here's an May I say something? Okay. Uh, we're going to uh, let me say this. Then I got Jason. Then I got Sister Hinkson. So here's the situation Nyquil. Nyquil is 6% alcohol. Mm -hmm. I know it for a fact. I take Nyquil because I'm congested. I'm sick. I need the medicine. It helps me to get over. I'm fine. But then I actually, and I've done this. This is a real experience. I've actually crossed from taking NyQuil to help me with congestion and sickness to taking it to getting the buzz from the 6% alcohol so that I could sleep better. Mm -hmm. So that I can just uh, feel the euphoria of having that alcohol in my body. Did it for a couple of days. Then I said, no, I got to stop this. This is not the purpose for that. Okay. Jason, you yes, still have sir. your question? Question, yeah, quick question. And then Sister so, Hinkson, go ahead. I won't be long. So back to the question of um, sex and our, you know, you know, the conversation. Sexual impurity. Sexual, yes, purity, sexual impurity, sexual impurity. Go ahead. And, you know, as a Christian, you know, the individual, they have needs and they needs to be met. Mm -hmm. And they said, Lord, I have this thing. And then they do the deed. And at the end, they repent. Mm -hmm. You know, I repent. You repent of your sins. You did something wrong. Okay. But just to piggyback some of the other uh, participants in the group, we we continue to do it. Mm -hmm. And they will repent. And we continue and repent. Mm -hmm. And we've, we've satisfied our our sexual urges then. But we go back to repenting, you know. Um, I don't remember what Corey said, or Deacon, please forgive me, because the drugs I'm taking for the pain kind of clouded me up to so. Mm -hmm. That's um, okay. <laughs> how, how much can one repent? I know God is a forgiving God. He will forgive you. Mm -hmm. But we sometimes use that, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, we use repentance as an excuse or a crutch then, that it's okay for me to do it as mm -hmm. long as I repent. You know, when does that run out? When, when, you know, I say, it... all right, look, all right, great mm -hmm. question. Okay. Now let's look at the overall picture. You know that it's wrong because scripture says sexual, listen, God is into sexual purity, not purity. sexual impurity. Mm -hmm. Any sex performed outside of marriage is sexual impurity. Mm -hmm. That's it. That scripture, I, that is not my truth. That is not my opinion. That is the truth of God. Okay. So what is your purpose of performing the sexual impurity? Is it because, listen, married or not married, you all have need. However, God will give you the ability 
<laughs> to even if you're not married, to live a sexually pure life. Mm -hmm. If you're not married, he will give you that is the purpose of the Holy Spirit. Okay, but you keep heeding the voice of the flesh over the voice of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Mm -hmm. And whichever voice you heed, you do not get to pick the consequences that follow. Mm -hmm. So in that situation, you repent and you have sex. Out sexually and you're sexually impure you repent and you're sexually impure one or two things are going to happen either you're going to get to the point where you're going to stop repenting mm -hmm. or you're going to get to the point where you're going to stop having the sexual impure sex right. because you cannot keep doing the repenting well, in the act the repenting mm -hmm. in the act because what you are actually doing is telling god mm -hmm. You are not able to keep me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. It's what they call um, presumptuous sin. And defiling. Yes. Defiling. Yes. Defiling. Defiling. defiling, yes. Yeah. What you are actually telling God is you are not true yeah. and I need something other than you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to change up your focus. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Stop. You have to stop focusing, letting that be your main focus. You pray about it. Ask God to help you to focus on something other than the help. He'll help you. Trust me. I know. No, it's not me, you know. It's just it's a general let, question. Let Jason, yeah, I know. I understand. Jason, it's a good it, question. If it's you or not you, it's what yeah. we Christians need to have a conversation right. about. Yes. Right. Yeah, we right. need to know. We need to be able to teach our young children who think it's okay. Yes. Because they, I mean, they're living in like a, like a free world, they think. Like yes. everything goes because of the internet and TikTok. And yes. Because those, it's great, but they're enticing our children into their beliefs and their acts. Mm -hmm. So we need to know the truth, yes. regardless. Yes. Yeah, and man. I have a bad knee. I can't run too fast anymore. So, <laughs> but, but here's the thing: if you're sexually impure, what are you opening yourself up? Pregnancy, unwanted pregnancies, mm -hmm. sexual diseases, mm -hmm. and different spirits. Different spirits. Come on, let's talk yeah. about this. Demonic spirits. Just because one night you see something, or one day, or whatever. You see yeah. something and you want it and you go for it and you have that euphoria and you have that sexual pleasure. And before you know it, those spirits could have jumped on you that you no longer yep. want to repay. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Mm -hmm. and Mr. Now you're so infatuated with this person. I get to you in a minute, uh, one minute, Mr. Pike. You are so infatuated. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the sexual demons, you don't know what that person, sexual, uh, demonic or angelic, you don't know what's yep, in that know. person. What illness they could have. What illness <laughs> they could have, what know. illness the, the baby could have because of the union. Uh, the, the, we men don't think about this in the act, but the misery after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The guilt. Oh my goodness. The, guilt, the shame. Yeah. Yes. Minister Pike, go ahead, sir. Yes, Minister. You forgot me? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Sister Hickson and Minister Pike. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be very brief. I, I'll oh, be very ahead. brief. Go ahead. I just wanted to say this thing with taking drugs of pain. You are the person in control. Mm -hmm. You have to decide whether you could would take it or not or how much you take because yeah. it's very easy to open that door and go through where that mm -hmm. takes control of you. But we are the ones who decide whether or not we're going to take the medication, whether how much we're going to take, when we're going to take because our spirit is joined with the Holy Spirit who strengthens us and enables us to resist what is not right. That's mm -hmm. all I wanted to say. Okay, mm -hmm. and I will take that three steps more. Yes, Sister Hinkson, you're right. If the spirit is to guarding you against taking some kind of medication that can get you addicted, uh, all right, I'm going to leave it as medication as a neutral thing mm -hmm. that can be used for our good or our bad. Yes, it can. And you have to make a decision 
on how you're feeling. Mm -hmm. Like I stated it with the uh, NyQuil. <laughs> that mm -hmm. NyQuil went too far with me. Mm -hmm. That it became a drug and I liked it and I started using it as a crutch instead of getting into the spirit of God. Okay, mm -hmm. So with the drug thing, we can go a lot of different ways. Sister Hinkson, thank you for the comment, but I also wanted to bring in the other side because I want all sides to come forth and mm -hmm. we have to make a decision mm -hmm. leading by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, Minister Pike, go ahead. Yes, Minister Pankey. Even concerning communion Sundays, mm -hmm. when many of us go to church, and this is Communion Sunday. Mm -hmm. When we know without the shadow of a doubt that I know that if I take the bread or the baker, the body of Christ, drink the wine, the cup, the blood of Jesus Christ, and worthily, mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul says concerning this, hmm. that because of, of this, many are weak and sickly among you. Yes. And further on, he says, many sleep. Hmm. At the end of life's journey, oh, God is going to deal with this. I cannot say. Because you're a child of God but you're taking the body and the blood of Jesus Christ unworthily. Mm -hmm. But there's concern. Mm -hmm. Because for some he declares, there are sickly, many are weak and sickly among you. Mm -hmm. And he went further to say that many sleep. So, so the point is this. The, 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 the life of the Christian man or woman should not be taken for granted while, while you have the Spirit of God in dwell it, dwell it in you. Mm -hmm. Because every bit of your actions and behavior is being watched and counted. Mm -hmm. it, it's not that anybody's going to put any eye on you and watch you. Mm -hmm. But in the Spirit of Truth, the mm -hmm. person in the Word of God will guide you, guide us in our truth. Mm -hmm. We know what is wrong and know what is right. Even mm -hmm. a brother that you have heart against, you should not even think of taking the cup. Make up with your brother, go to him, tell him you're sorry. Yes. Come back and say, you know, I, I said something to you, to you last week. I mean, I'm sorry the way the, I sound when I said it to you, but that did not mean, it's just that I was orina this and that. But you make up with him. In other words, we cannot live our lives carelessly Mm -hmm. Without making amends to our faults and failures, mm -hmm. while the Spirit of Christ dwells in us, mm -hmm. who is always yeah. God's days man, mm -hmm. but in us, speaking to us, that Brother Pike, mm -hmm. what you did, such and such, the way you drive and behave on the road and blowing your horn and going on, that mm -hmm. was wrong as being a child of God. Yeah. So you go on and you said, it's all right, and I will do it again. And then you move to another direction, doing something else even worse as a yeah. child of God with the yeah. spirit that indwells you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Minister Pike, you said it. We cannot live this life any really old way. Mm -mm. And when we do live this life any old way, there are consequences. Amen. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And one of the consequences, you are weak in God. Yes. yes, yes, because yes. these things come to make you strong. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to tell on myself here. Uh oh, yeah, uh oh's right. <laughs> <laughs> I left work Sunday morning, it was either Saturday morning, Sunday morning, 5 a.m. There's a lot going on in the world at 5 a.m. on a Saturday or Sunday morning. Okay, wow. I saw. Two women, and I'm saying, God, why do I have to see this now? Mm. Okay? Mm. Very beautiful women, very lo lovable looking, good looking women with short, one had a real short. I'm just saying this because this is the world we live in. 
Mm -hmm. And this is what we have to deal with mm -hmm. as men of God. I'm speaking for men now. Yes. Okay? So yeah. one of them's crossing the street, and you know we men are visual. And I can visualize everything. So the short, the skirt was short. And okay, I'm looking. But as I look, I feel the spirit of lust trying to come in and Creepy. to fantasy. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I had to quick learn, and I have I've learned this, and I'm getting stronger in doing this, is to turn that spirit down and start praising and lifting mm -hmm. up the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if I just saw one person, all right. Why do I have to go see another one with even less clothes on walking right to me <laughs> with my headlights straight on this person who looked just good as the first one? It was a test. <laughs> Thank you. It was a test. And this one had on less clothes than the other one that I can visually see what she has as a body. Mm. So, wow. wants okay. to set you up. Thank you. <laughs> What you are saying, we go through. First off, we go through tests. Second mm -hmm. of all, yeah. there is a spirit out there that is setting us up. Yes. yes. And we got to mm -hmm. understand that yeah. there is a spirit out there setting us up. And when we're set up for the deception or the self-pleasure or the sexual impurity, we got to run to the sexual purity. Which, mm -hmm. God, that is not right in your sight. I am, mm -hmm. I am killing every thought. And we got to fight that spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. We always got to be prepared for what they are going to throw our way. But what if I, would, I would drive on another street, too. Deaconess, Jalise, you are right. But what if you're not prepared? Because here's the situation. And we're going to have to stop. I'm sorry. We're going to mm -hmm. have to stop. It's already 1230. But here's the situation. We got to be prepared. I'm not prepared. I just want to get home and get in my bed and go to sleep. I just been up working for 12 hours. I've been up for 14 hours. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah. even in that, I must learn that the Holy Spirit is living within me. And I got to yeah. learn to stand up and fight. And I got to learn to listen to the Spirit and yes. hear his voice and not yeah. the voice amen. of those women. Yeah. Amen, amen. Yeah. Uh, that is how you know, work. Or, or any other voice. Yeah. Or mm. any other voice. Yeah. 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 Amen, here's amen. The thing. There's a lot of voices speaking yes. to us. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Just got to know the voice of God. Mm. Gotta, and listen, not only do you got to get to uh, this, a couple of things. First, of, how do you get to learn the voice of God? Mm -hmm. Through scripture. If so, you don't yeah. get in scripture, Amen. you're not going to yes, get the voice. Must be in the scriptures. Got to be in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And then, Thank you. Step two. Go, I'll be with you in a minute. Step two. You got to have some experiences with that voice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead, uh, Tammy. Voice. Yes. Tammy. Go ahead. One thing we have to remember: the devil doesn't have anything new. On mm -mm. us, mm -mm. he only has our old stuff to taunt us with, mm -hmm. and de deliverance mm -hmm. is a daily thing. Mm -hmm. Because if you've mm -hmm. been in an old, if you have ever lived or experienced anything in an alternative lifestyle, there is a taste that comes yeah. up in your mouth, mm -hmm. thoughts that mm -hmm. come up in your mind, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit is a perfect gentleman. Mm -hmm. Yes. What he will do is nudge you. Mm -hmm. He will warn you. That yeah. second move is your choice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. and, and you can't blame the Holy Spirit for not telling you. Mm -hmm. right. Right. You got to listen to You got the warning. Yes. And, and you have to, you got to set up in your mind. Thank you, Minister Tammy. That, that was one point. You got to set up in your mind at the beginning of every day, and as you go through the day, with all the voices that I will be hearing, mm -hmm. I am going to heed the voice of God mm -hmm. and follow mm -hmm. that voice. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that voice will be the voice of the Holy Spirit that lives within you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Or a voice could be your wife's voice telling you, look at what she's wearing. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. You know, you look look the other way. You know, don't don't look. Now, you know, don't let, do let's, let's not take it to extreme. I can't look at no women. <laughs> there are beautiful women out there wearing some beautiful dresses. And yes, I admit that they, there's a beautiful woman and that dress is beautiful. But learn to cut it at that. Don't go yeah, into yeah, a yeah, don't, yeah, don't of do sexuality mm -hmm. or ownership that you want to have else. pleasure with that body. Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. let, let us be real about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And I can go to my sister and say, you look very nice today. That's yeah. right. Okay. My okay. sister can come, to, yep. can come you know, to me and say, brother, you look very good today. Yeah, Handsome and sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is where you got to learn in yourself how to not go past it and go into sexual impurity. Mm. You got to discipline yourself. You got to discipline. Discipline. The Guinness Jalice, thank you. You yes, have to discipline That's yourself. Funny, That's yeah. that it. Now, there's a difference between you look very nice today and girl, you wearing that dress. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so go there. Or maybe girl is wearing you. That's right. When it's a pancake. That's right. It's a pancake. Ah, go ahead, Minister Pike. It's a pancake. You stay right on the reservation. Don't leave the reservation. Don't say nothing more. Ah, Lord. But what a God you serve. So mighty God. Said, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. Mm -hmm. And we need to talk about all of this. And all yes. of that. Yes. Yes. Merciful yes. God. And it's quite fitting. It's all coming out. Yes. Under the teaching of the Holy Spirit. Yes. yes. Which the right knows way. You, which knows you're going to go through all of this. Mm -hmm. And is there to treat it is there to assist you in mm -hmm. righteousness. And holiness. Yes. yes. And, uh, holiness. Mm. and that's how you build yourself up spiritually strong. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to make a statement. You know why you're weak? Because you never stood up. Mm. Wow. Uh, amen. Mm. Real talk. Amen. 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 You're weak because you never. St when you start standing up, you find out how strong you are. Mm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And let me dare say this: You find out how you start finding out how strong God is within you. Yeah, man, yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. yes, sir. I yeah. was by myself that morning. None of y'all were with me. My <laughs> wife wasn't with me. I could have did anything, any what, whatever I wanted to do, but I chose because of righteousness and holiness. Yes. yes. Not to go on that path. Mm. Yeah, she wasn't. Holiness. Sister Dawn wasn't there, but I bet she was flashing in your head. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> How did you know? I, I know she was. <laughs> like, oops. <laughs> now, just to bring this home, Yes. I did confess. I did repent. Lord, it was for momentary. Lord, I thank you for your strength. And yes. I moved on. I yes. did yes, dwell sir. on it. Yes. Amen, sir. Something Amen. happens Amen. when you dwell on it. Yes. Yeah. You are yes. too, much. Yeah. too much. You know? Bless you, sir. Yeah. Bless you, bless you. Bless. Yes. It is so. All right. Next All one. Because of the see? Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Everybody can see fruit of the Holy Spirit, Galatians yes. five twenty two. Yes. Results of His work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That's where we're going to start yes. next Tuesday. I will be with you next Tuesday. I promise. I will mm. be here. Okay? I, I pray you will be here too because I love. Listen, I love today's faith building. Oh, okay. Yes. 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 I, I, I simply, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your truth. Yes. Thank yes. you for your spirit. Yes. Lord. And thank you for your power. Mm. Thank you, God. Coming Amen. and being with us. Yes, Lord. Yes. Amen. 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 And I'm going to stop there because it's already 1235. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So just give me a minute to stop sharing.
And... <clears throat>